Just got started with JJ's hair. He just got back from his haircut. This is what we're working with. We, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous as shit because I don't want to mess it up. But we'll keep you guys posted when we're done. <laughs> this is what we got going on. Boom. We're going crazy with it this time. We're gonna have a little fun. Look at that. You ready to go? Yes, sir. We're here at DIA Denver International Airport. 
sitting next to uh, JJ Martinez, 11 U 65 pounder. How you feeling today, son? I'm feeling amazing. I'm a little tired because we woke up a little early. And yeah. So we're getting ready to head out to North Carolina for Super 32. Uh, you've never been there before, huh? No, I haven't yet. So um, what are you expecting or what are you most excited about? What I'm expecting is to try my best and try to win it. That's and what are you most excited about? What I'm most excited about is competition and just being able to wrestle there. That's awesome, son. Well, we're excited to watch you wrestle and taking everybody along with us on this journey. So, but anyway, we'll touch back with you guys when we get to North Carolina. This is JJ's hair, the final product and how it turned out. Some crazy stuff, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Oh, well, you only live once, dude, and you're only young once, so we like to have fun. And there's my wife. Hello. Hello. Hello, honey. Hello. All righty. I'll talk to you guys when we get to North Carolina. Yo. The doors are closing. This train is departing. Hey guys, so it's JJ and we just landed. Now we're in North Carolina, we're in Charlotte and this is the airport. And now we have to drive an hour to Greenboro Burl, because um, that's where we're gonna be wrestling. And yeah. See you guys in a little bit. Here at early weigh-ins, got the crew behind. Get these boys weighed in and go get them fed. Here at the field house. Oh, it's early weigh-ins. For the elementary and middle school. We gonna start making shit up.
fellas. Morning. Morning, Knox. Let's go around, maybe. 21's over there. Yeah. JJ's a three seed, he's got a first round by. Most likely got a tough kid out of PA. Out of the bat. Off the, off the gate. all the first round matches going on right now. Right here, already a lot of tough matches. Said JJ had a bye. Be coming up here shortly.
talk about. Get to work. Work under the arms. Two on one. Two on one. There you go. Two on one. Drive through it. Head up. Punch over. Punch over. Punch it. Oh, throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Get tight. Hey, short time. Stay tight. Stay tight, JJ. Short time. Hey, hey, go. Set up your offense. Get on him. Get on him. Under hook there. Stop it. Stop it. Get your hips up. Get your hips up, JJ. Hips up. Yes, throw him in. Face him. Face him. Face him. There you go. Hit it. Yes, step over. Right up. Front three corner. Front three corner. JJ, knee slide out. Don't keep going on that. Your pillow's there. Front three corner. Stop it. Hip it. Hips. Yes. Go, go, get your two on one. Work under the arms, JJ. JJ, under the arms. JJ, under the arms. Let's go. Let's go. Come up.
Okay, guys, some uh, final thoughts and takeaways from Super 32 um, tournament. Overall, I think the um, experience was a really good experience. Um, the level of competition was was the best we've ever seen um, in one bracket. Um, one thing I will say is, um, you know, I want to thank JJ for his his hard work and his his effort. That's one thing I never have to really ever question with JJ is his effort. I know when he goes into a match, he he definitely gives it all he can and and tries his very best, um, you know, to to win and and um, to see things play out in his favor. Um, one thing we're still working on and battling is is taking our foot off the gas a little bit. You know, I I seen a lot of really good things that he did, but I also saw a lot of things that we need to improve on. And I I, I know that's part of this process and part of this journey. Um, you know, in youth wrestling is is not only sharpening our technique and our um our physical um things about wrestling but also our mental um you know JJ going into super 32 he knew what he was up against um we had a lot of uh what i would say um kids who um i wouldn't necessarily say were bigger than JJ even though they probably were a little bit bigger than him um but you know you step into tournaments like Super 32 into the Tulsa Nationals, you you run into some people cutting weight. And, you know, um, JJ walked into Super 32 at 65 pounds and he wrestled 65 pounds. And for that, I really um, give him a lot of credit to go into a tournament like that and wrestle your true weight. Um, but take nothing away from his competition or the people that did do that, even though I've been somewhat critical on on social media about some of those things you know about some of the kids that that he wrestled wrestling the same weight they were wrestling last year you know it is what it is and that was the decision that their parents chose to make and i i don't want to make any kind of excuses for jj i think with with that being said what what that did do is it it exposed some weaknesses that i see in jj's wrestling and that he sees um you know and some of them like I said, are just mental, mental blocks in himself, maybe a little bit of self-doubt sometimes when you get to those high level matches of, of not thinking while you're out there and not so much worrying about what your opponent's coming to do, but rather forcing your opponent to worry about what you come to do, you know, um, those are some of the hurdles that we need to get over. And, um, you know, I, I felt like in the matches that he lost, he was in both matches but, you know, you look at JJ Wrestling Paris right off the bat. That was a tough one to walk into with a bye. I mean, that kid ended up taking second. And he was one of the, the best kids in the bracket. And, you know, he had a match under his belt before he came and wrestled JJ. And we had a bye. It's a tough one to walk into right off the bat. But even then, um, I felt like Paris controlled the match on it, on our feet. And that's something that we can't we can't have. And something I've really expressed to JJ time and time again is you know pushing the pace and and making people wrestle his match instead of him wrestling theirs and you know credit to Paris on on how he wrestled he's a very tough kid tough wrestler um it was good it was fun to share share the mat with him and get that experience in um but even then just making some costly mistakes in a big time tournament like that you can't do that you know um you know, we gave up, we lost two to one and JJ gives up a takedown on the out of bounds line while he's holding a, a wizard, you know, and, and bailed on the wizard and tried to kick out and Paris wrapped up both his feet, kept his toes in, did a good job of knowing where he was at and, and beat him two to one. And, you know, it wasn't for a lack of effort after that because JJ's effort on bottom was really good. You see in the third period, he's constantly moving, constantly trying to stand up and and trying to get his one and Paris wrote him very tough and credit to him you know he's a very tough kid um JJ bounced back I still didn't like the way that I think I like the way he turned it up after that first match and wrestled Palmer really tough he's another tough kid and then wrestled um uh the PA kid I think he's bachelor uh out of PA he's another he's another tough guy and and did some good things but also did some bad things in there some you know, there's a lot of things when you sometimes you wrestle these high level matches 
uh, you tend to do some things that are uncharacteristic and they, and they kind of cost you a little bit, you know, and just trying to like focus on those things and not, not make those mistakes and those kind of matches, you know, like I said, going back to the Paris match, you, you, you make one mistake and it cost you the match and trying to get JJ to understand we cannot be the person doing that, you know, on that end. Um, like I said, uh, the, the two matches afterwards, I really liked the way he turned it up. Uh, he felt a little bit more aggressive and, um, but he, there were still things I, I didn't really feel like JJ rode all that well, um, in the, in the two matches after Paris, um, not like how he normally does, um, you know, but credit to those kids, they worked hard as well. So I'm not trying to take any credit away from what they did. Um, I'm just kind of purely looking at it from what JJ was doing and, and what we could get better on. Um, the match against, uh, Moyer, Beckett Moyer is a very tough kid. Uh, we've wrestled him twice and we're 0-2 against him. I think we lost 5-3 two years ago to him and we lost 3-0 here. Same thing as Paris. I think JJ went in there knowing he had Moyer and took his foot off the gas. And, and although we were being really aggressive in the hand fighting department, like we, we set, we, we took no shots. We set up no shots, you know, and Credit to, to Beckett. He kept working for the takedowns. Ended up getting the takedown on JJ. Got an escape early on in the second period. JJ didn't ride very well. And then rode JJ tough in the third. And we lose 3-0 and get sent home. Um, you know, great learning experience. Um, very tough one to swallow. But all in all, like, you know, when I've, I, I've let some time go to kind of reflect on it and stuff. Because, you know, I mean, I know JJ was super upset afterwards. But... One big takeaway I want to want to express and um, is, you know, learning and growing in wrestling overall, not just while you're on the mat, but off the mat um, is huge. And um, it's something I pointed out to you on our social media posts. But, you know, JJ has not been the best at learning how to handle a loss um, the last few years. Um, I actually probably all the way up until this point, um, it was one of those things where a lot of these kids are like, you know, they want to win. And when they don't win, it's, it's devastating to them. And JJ didn't never really handle it the right way. Um, or what we as parents would think should be the right way. Um, you know, is to win with class and lose with class. And he, um, he did an excellent job out at super 32. Cause I know how much it meant to him to place and, and, and to be up there with the elite and for him to get put out and to lose and the way he handled and carried himself afterwards was amazing. I was very, very proud. Um, my wife was very proud um, of seeing that growth in him and being able to say, all right, you know, you got me, you were better than me today. Um, so those things were, were pluses um, that I saw, you know, and, you know, we got uh, Tulsa Nationals coming up and we got to get ready and get back to work and try to work on those things that that we didn't do so well out there. And I think, you know, like I said, that's part of the growth. I would have loved for JJ to be up there and, and hit the podium and place top six there. And it just didn't happen for him. And that's OK. Um, so those are my takeaways from Super 32. Congratulations to, to all the wrestlers that placed and to our teammates that won it. Um, congratulations to them. I know they work really hard for it and, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting out there at Tulsa and, and seeing what happens. So we'll, uh, we'll, you know, um, follow up with you guys then and we'll throw another video out there. So we appreciate you guys following and, and watching and you guys have any comments or feedback, be sure to share them with us. We'd love to hear them. Thank you guys. Appreciate you.